Hello my friend, here in this video you are going to learn about basically what are Salesforce objects, what are the terminology you are going to learn in this video I will tell you later but first of all let me introduce myself, my name is Priyanka Roda, I am your Salesforce coach, like share and subscribe my channel, your love and affection will help us to grow. Before starting this video you should know what is Salesforce and what is Salesforce Administrator? If you don't know, please watch my previous video. I will give you link in the video description. Now, without any delay, let's get start. What is Salesforce Administrator? Here in this video, we are going to learn in brief what is database, how database of Salesforce actually works. Third question is why we need to store data in database? and what are tables in database and next question you are going to learn is basic terminology that we use for tables in Salesforce. Next question what is ER diagram in database? How to create relationship between two tables? Different type of objects in Salesforce and example of some basic standard objects in Salesforce. So first question is why we need to store data in database? What do you think? Is there any business application can exist without its data being stored? Answer is no. We need to store its data. So where we gonna store the data? In database. So what is database? Organized collection of information is called database. Because it's not about tables. There are different type of databases where we don't need to have tables to store the data. So earlier Question is, earlier we were using Excel sheet to store data, then why do we need to have database? Because fetching data from database is easier than Excel sheet from thousands of records. Managing data in database is easier than Excel sheet like fetching, removing, updating and storing the record is easy in database. Next question, what is basic entity of database? Is normal or relational database? In normal or relational database like SQL or Oracle data is stored in tables in which we store the info in structural format. A table includes two things columns and rows. These horizontal row are rows and vertical are columns. Now columns are basically attributes. What kind of data we are going to store in the database? And rows are instances, basically rows are the information of student that we are going to store in the table. So all of these things that you are watching in my video, these are my personal notes that I have prepared by myself. So it will work you in very better way to prepare for a Salesforce administrator interviews and for certification and you will get a good knowledge here. Okay, so please like, share and subscribe my channel so that I will prepare more videos for you so that you can prepare better for your certification and interviews. Thank you. Next question is how database of Salesforce actually works. So Salesforce database is similar to relational database and in relational database basic entity is table. So data stored in data going we are going to store in relational database in the form of table. So Salesforce is also a relational database. So in relational database we are going to store data in tables in Salesforce database also. So, but terminology is different. For tables, we use word object in Salesforce. So, instead of table, we call table as object in Salesforce database. If you want to store information of student, means you need to create a student table in simple databases like SQL and Oracle, but in Salesforce, we called it as Salesforce object, student object. Like if you want to store the information of client or courses, you need to create client object, you need to create course object. Salesforce administrator scores. Now next PPT slide is tables terminology in Salesforce. Columns we call as fields and rows we call as records. So what is ER diagram? So first of all let me explain you, uh, we call columns as fields, the horizontal 
horizontal uh, information we call as horizontal column header we call as field in salesforce and rows we call as records of students student information in the store in the in rows we call as records okay so what is er diagram er diagram is entity relationship diagram it is a pictorial way to represent structure of database pictorial way means in the picture form when we draw the structure of a database how the data should be stored in a database that is called entity relationship diagram your client gives you er diagram and as per the er diagram he ask you to implement this in salesforce database means he will give you the pictorial representation of objects and their relationship among the tables or objects and you have to implement this in your salesforce database right so question is if we have two tables and we want to create relationship between two tables how to create if if we are having two tables so we need to create relationship between two tables but how we will create relationship between two tables to create relationship we need primary key and foreign key concept in salesforce we have concept of relationship field where foreign key is a relationship field and primary key is the record id of the one side table so now one question is arising in your mind what is primary key what is foreign key and what is one side table that was also arised in my mind when i was learning so first of all just cram this as it is when we will learn later on in the video you will get to know what is primary key in detail what is foreign key is detail and what is relationship field and what is one side table so for right now just cram it at is as it is so in salesforce we have concept of relationship field where foreign key is a relationship field and primary key is the record id of one side table so now next question is what type of object in salesforce we have we have two kind of objects standard objects and custom objects we have already learned what are objects in salesforce now we are studying what type of objects are in salesforce one is standard object and another one is custom object so standard object is one of the object that is already present in salesforce given as a part of salesforce means these are some pre built things that are given us by salesforce we have some pre built templates in our phones and pre built templates in our pcs so these are some pre built things that are given us by salesforce so we can customize this standard object but we can't delete it completely we can customize these things as per our needs but we can't delete the standard object just keep this in mind we can't delete standard object these questions are very important in interview point of view also so just keep all these things in your mind so some of the example of standard objects are accounts leads opportunity contacts and we will learn later on what are account objects what are lead objects and what is opportunity objects so we will learn about this later on just cram it right now uh custom objects uh, the object that we create as per our requirement and need is called custom object and we can delete it completely so those objects that are not present in uh, salesforce that are not pre built and we need those objects as per our need or requirement we need to create those objects as per our requirement so we call these objects as standard objects and we can delete it completely these objects are students and courses and there are so many clients and we can create as many custom objects as we want as per our need sales for in the next slide example of some salesforce basic standard objects account object is a standard object what is account object It's to store the information of clients or customers we need a account object earlier we call is as a table in relational databases like sql oracle but in salesforce database we call it called is it as 
account object so we store the information of clients or customer in account object or account table so lead object we are going to store the information of potential customers potential customers are those who are interested to buy our services earlier one person was in lead now converted to accounts opportunity object store the information about deal means what you have sold at how much price you have sold and how much quantity you have sold we will store all this info in opportunity object i have explained you some of the standard objects uh, we will learn about all other uh, standard objects in detail later on in another videos so example we sell something to our account or customer that is one that we will going to store we are going to store in account opportunity object so for right now this is completely done basic terminology of salesforce what are salesforce object and what are databases is complete if you like my video please like share and subscribe we will meet you in the next video when you will help me to grow definitely i will grow and uh, I will help you to clear your Salesforce administrator and certification exams. Thank you so much. Signing off, Tank Arora. Thank you.